All right. Um, my name is Councillor Garrick Perry, and I would like to welcome everyone to the January 22nd Community Resources Committee Organizational Meeting. Uh, the jurisdiction of the Community Resources is matters affecting the community, including economic development, local business, tourism, the environment, the arts, planning, zoning, sustainability, land use, housing, and affordability, among others. And with that being said, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Laura, roll call, please. Here. 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 All right. And just a reminder that this and all meetings are audio and video recorded. So with that being stated, we are on to our next item of business, which is election of chair. So now we will open the floor for nominations. I don't know who, uh, well, I would like to nominate Debbie Patrick Clemmer for chair. I will nominate myself, though I would like to lead with Debbie as well. What? I, although I would like to le be in leadership with you, but yes, I will nominate myself. So I think that when I looked at what the community was hoping that we could be as city councilors, I felt like they don't really get to see that part of us in the full council meetings because that's a place where we are having to hold ourselves and others in our government accountable in a way that is really hard. And I think what drew most of us to this service is this sense of really loving and wanting to help the people in our community. And so I'm really appreciative that you all were interested in being on this board or that you accepted it because that makes me excited to work with you. And I think that this can be the most enriching time that we have as counselors uh, if we really make full use of this committee. And what I had in mind was uh, something similar to what the Ward 3 Neighborhood Association does, which is where we host monthly meetings um, that are really collaborative for the community. And people are able to come in and we spend about an hour discussing anything that's sort of arising from the floor. We have some like standing reports that we get like from public housing, from conservation. Um, and then we have guest speakers. Like last time our guest speaker was Jeremy. And when I first became president of that group, it was really kind of dormant in a way that that just didn't feel like the community was like utilizing it as fully as it could. And so I spent a year with it and then I passed um, it over to the next president, which is Olivia. And I was so happy to see at our last meeting that like so many of those seeds that were planted were sprouting. And I think it was the best meeting that we ever had. And it really felt like the community was like seeking us out and showing up and then figuring out where they wanted to go next. Um, there was so much institutional knowledge and so much community spirit. And I think what's really great about this committee is this opportunity to have no biases, no prejudices, no conflict, because everybody in our community belongs here and everybody's opinion is valid. Um, whether it's HAMP or NoHo, whether they're housed or unhoused, whether they're an employee or an employer, and whatever their vision of Northampton is. Um, I, I really envision this committee as being a place where we can be brainstorming together about what's going to be possible for us to do with each other and for each other. And I don't think it's only going to be about solutions from the city. Like, for example, HAMP 
would really like to see the Christmas tree lights come back to Pulaski Park. And it means a lot to them. Um, and to some people, they sort of hold a big grudge about it, like, ah, oh, the city promised us this and they don't do it anymore. Um, but really, there's this awesome opportunity to just work with um, the DNA. And you could even have uh, the, the residents sort of like crowdsource their own funding of that. Um, and they could see that there are ways for the community to kind of lift itself up and access things that are right, like within their power to do as well. So I really just look forward to that opportunity to be super collaborative and super creative with everybody. And I think it's also important to note that um, whoever would want to be vice president, I would not be making you um, like subservient to the president and to do administrative work. Like I would totally bear um, all of that secretarial work. I think of myself as kind of a souped up professional secretary as a stenographer. <laughs> so um, I would be looking for sort of like joint, um, joint figurehead, joint leadership, um, just really positive being out in the community. And I also think finally um, that we should work at a pace that works for all of us. I know we're all gonna be really busy on different committees. And I think that even if only one or two of us were able to come on a given night and we didn't meet quorum and we couldn't broadcast and we maybe didn't have minutes, um, I don't think there's anything stopping whoever is here from meeting with whoever does show up from the public and reporting back um, at our next meeting. So I really want us to envision this committee as like just a really fulfilling, enriching, positive opportunity and no conflict and no huge workload, but just lots and lots of possibility. So that's my vision. Thank you. Um, over the past eight years, I've worked with many different groups in the community and um, I work well at bringing people together and um, or, and getting along with other groups, leaders, and counselors, um, and constituents. I've shown leadership skills as co-chair and founder of Indivisible Northampton, and um, my main goal is to work for what's best for the community. And I, too, believe everybody belongs here, um, and everybody deserves a place at the table, and I will do my best and work really hard um, to make that happen for Northampton. And I, um, I want us all to work well together. I was really excited to be on this committee. And um, I want to, you know, when I organized the party at the night of the election, I did it because I wanted all of us counselors and at large counselors and um, school committee people to work together as a, a team. And um, and I'm going to continue that with this group, and um, I'm always open to hear from people if you have any suggestions and try to bring your ideas to fruition. And um, I guess that's it. You know, I just uh, I think I've proven myself over the past eight years. I've done tons of volunteer as organizing rallies and working with the Valley Women's March and Move On, and um, I know a lot of other organizers in town that I've always had a great relationship with and will continue to work with them. So um, I think I could do a great job as the uh, chair of this committee and, um, you know, and, and I'm open to hearing what anybody has to say. You can always get in touch and we'll work together as a team. Just say that I brought up Debbie. Um, I, I too am very excited for everyone here on this committee. Uh, there's a reason why I asked for to be back on this committee. Um, I think it's a very important resource for our community. Um, but I also think, uh, you know, I, I supported Debbie because, uh, as she stated, she has 
shown that she's willing to, to bring folks together. And I'm really looking forward to having a collegial and a collaborative atmosphere and environment. Um, and so in the time that I've known Debbie, she has proved that. And also in the time that I've known that she's been working in the community, that has been evident and true. She's been building these bridges and doing this work. Um, and so I feel confident that Debbie will be able to step up and, and really lead us and help guide this um, committee in a, in a good direction. With that being said, I believe that we vote, correct, Laura, if there's no other? Yeah. Is it a roll? It's a roll call. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, uh, Deputy Patrick Clemmer. Debbie Pastor Clemmer. Waverly Rothenberg. All right, that means we have to vote again. Laura. Please. Um, um, Jake, uh, Councilor Dobbs. Um, Councilor Pastor Glemmer. Councillor Rothenberg. Councillor Debbie Passage Clemmer. And I believe from what uh, Attorney Seawall says is that we we have to continue till we. Like we keep voting. Or... Yeah. Keep voting until it's one. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why he suggests having an odd number of councillors on committees, yeah. subcommittees. So. Um, so, Councillor Pastor Clemmer. Councillor Pastor Clemmer. Rothenberg. Uh, Councillor Pastor Clemmer. I, are we supposed to do further comments to try to like discuss it through? I know. I was thinking. I'm just, yeah, no, I'm just. I didn't hear that. Sorry. Um, Count Councilor Rothenberg. I wonder, could we entertain a motion for co chairs? Nope. I don't, I don't know if that is. Um, I, I don't I think I, I think the rules of the council do call for a chair and a vice chair. Um, I I do not know of any uh instance where that was the case either. Uh could we pick up our rules? Are the rules set by city council or by this committee? Oh, Okay. Okay. So it's not not within our purview to modify no, them. Yeah. Yeah. It has happened. It happened to me in city services last time, where we were tied, and then. Uh, someone changed, I uh, actually changed my vote, but, um, I think there's been other times where there's been a vote like that and, you know, it's like, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't yeah, absolutely, take yeah. action you're trying to take. Um, Are we allowed to take a lead test? 
I think we could. I guess. I mean, yeah. I, I... Well, Laura, let's take a, a five minute just to call Attorney Seawalt.
And Laura, we can come back from our recess now. And we are still in the process of election of chair. So I know that, well, I will just say that we've been through an election before and it is one of the tougher processes, but we will move forward and get the work done. So, um, Laura, if you want to do another. Councilor Debbie Pastors Clemmer. Councilor Debbie Pastors Clemmer. Councillor W. Pastor Clemmer. Councillor W. Pastor Clemmer. It makes no sense to fight on a council about peace. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I will now hand over this meeting to our new chair of community resources, Debbie Pastor Clemmer. Thank you, Garrick. And Councillor Rothenberg and Councillor, Councillor Dobbs. Um, I'm just opening the schedule. So now um, we will elect the vice chair. Um, is there anybody that wants to nominate somebody or nominate themselves as vice chair? Okay. Well, I'd like to vote, nominate Councillor Perry. Accept that nomination. Is there anyone else? Okay, nominations are closed. Um, Laura, would you please do the roll call? Councillor Garrick Perry. Councillor Perry. I would have asked for more time to think, and I would have also voted for Debbie. So I think I'm just going to abstain because I can't keep up. <laughs> uh, and Councillor Garrick Perry. So Councillor Perry is the vice chair. Thank you. Um, and public comment now. So now we have time for a public comment. If there's anybody um, that would like to say something, please raise your hand virtually or just wave. Um, I don't see anybody. Just you were, or... okay. so we'll just move on. Um, so there are no public comments. So the next item on the agenda is the minutes from the previous meeting. And do we just? Yeah. I, I, I would, I would uh, entertain moving those to the next agenda so we have a chance to look them over. And then we vote on them. And then we vote on them next time. Yeah. So, um, I'd like to move to move the minutes to the next agenda. Does anybody second that? I will second that. Thank you, Councilor Perry. Um, are there any updates and announcements from committee members? Well, I just had, I was wondering on the minutes, um, would anybody be able to reach out? Do we still have a video of those, of that meeting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could watch it. <laughs> see if the, the minutes match, or we could just trust Laura, or we could ask Lindsay to peruse it and see if there's anything weird, because it's mostly just a summary of her presentation. Um, would anybody be opposed to me asking Lindsay to review the minutes before our next meeting? Sabadosa? I I'm just wondering how we're going to vote on them since we weren't there. Um, they're on Zoom. I, know. That, I mean, on um, YouTube. That would be a whole meeting to watch. No, it's only about 35 minutes. Oh, that's good. 
Did you? Oh, did you take a look already? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. I. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Councilor Perry. Yes. Yeah, so I, I would um, hesitate to have uh, Representative Sabadosa look over minutes that she's already. Uh, she was that at the meeting, and so uh, her time is very precious. And so. Sure. Yeah. No, I have a good relationship. That I was just thinking she might be the fastest person to be able to spot an inconsistency, oh. but maybe Councilor Dubs, you will make a quorum for that vote. Um, on the minutes at the next meeting. So, so, I'm sorry. So I might not, I might not vote on those minutes. I just want to make sure you guys had enough, but it sounds like you two are able to vote and you'll mm -hmm. probably vote on it as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll put them the minutes. Okay. So we're going to move the minutes to the next meeting. <clears throat> And um, are there any updates and announcements from the any committee members? Mm -hmm. It's going to be in the minutes and on YouTube. So um, I'm always happy to plug the Ward Three Neighborhood Association meeting, which is the second Tuesday of every month at seven o'clock. On Zoom, you can find the link by Googling Ward 3 Neighborhood Association. Thank you, Councilor Rothenberg. Anything else? Okay. Um, um, there's no items referred to the committee from the last meeting. So now we could set a meeting schedule and format for the 2024, 2024 to 2025 session. So, um, so I think the first question for us before us is, do we want to continue with in-person hybrid model uh, or do we want to go just all to Zoom or what, what that is? I previously mentioned to Councilor Dubs that uh, the last term we stuck to online meetings, Zoom meetings for the smaller things, but for things, for instance, where um, uh, Representative Sabadosa came in or Senator Comerford came, we had those meetings in person because uh, I felt that it was uh, a little more weight. So that is that is the first thing we should decide is how we want to have the format. Um, and then uh, I guess the time as well should be discussed. So. So um, do does everybody want to continue with the in-person and hybrid uh, model? Do we do a roll, roll call in? Or just a show of hands or what? Yeah, voice vote. Yeah. Voice vote. Okay, we can just do a voice vote for that. So is everybody okay with uh, that? I, I appreciate the hybrid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's and, and yeah. It's for, for lots of re different reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to continue with the in-person hybrid uh, model. And then, um, and the time now for the meeting. This was the time last is, yes. term. Does this work or would anybody like to change it? I personally, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Councilor Perry. Um, I drive my kids gymnastics uh, carpool mm -hmm. every Monday. And so 5.30 is the earliest I can get here from Agawam. So for me, that would, this time, time is ideal. It's, a, it's enough time that I can also get home and make dinner. And so I, I don't want it to be too late, but mm -hmm. if everyone is willing to keep 5.30, it would tremendously help uh, my life situation and my family. Which day are, which day are we picking? Mondays. The, the third. Monday? Um, this is the, is it the third Monday? Yes, third Monday. Third Monday of the month at 5.30. Does that work? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay, so um, we will keep the meetings the third Monday of the month at 5.30 in person, um, hybrid model, um, or Zoom. 5.30. Okay, we're moving right along now. This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any new business for um for us Laura? 
you almost have to talk about the next meeting in February right away because it actually falls on a holiday, President's Day. Oh. So if there is a meeting next month, it'll have to be determined to either. Okay. Yeah. Um, so should go ahead. But almost move to use the next month, like as individual counselors to try to get together with our communities and figure out what kind of business we want to start working on and just skip February um, so that we can be planning like maybe who we want to invite or those kinds of things yeah. just to get ourselves acclimated to the year ahead. Yeah. Well, we have a month, so I think we should meet because we are new and to see where people are at with um, meeting with the constituents, but it's a good idea to meet with people and reach out. Um, so do you normally just put it on that Tuesday then? So yeah, it, it depends. We can So we can move to adopt the schedule as it is with the caveat that we will uh, look at the holidays and then figure out among okay. ourselves. So, but the next meeting's on a holiday. Yeah. So um, um, should we decide tonight when to do it? Is that, does, does everyone feel comfortable? Decide? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 So um, is that Tuesday at this time open for you? The 19th, that is. So it would be the 20th. February 20th. Yeah. And it works for me. How about? Yep. Good. Jeremy? Uh, yes, that works for me. Okay. Sorry, I had to think for a second. Yeah. <laughs> you're, allowed to, you're allowed to do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what I'm, I was thinking about the disability convention meeting. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the calendar's filling up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Councilor Rothenberg, does that work for you, the 20th? Okay, so the next meeting will be um, on February 20th, Tuesday. It's a Tuesday at 5.30 because of the Monday holiday that week. Okay. Um, so, um, and there's isn't there's no new business that we know of. No, two council. Okay, so then I guess we could just move to adjourn. Does anybody second that motion? Oh, oh, sorry, I'll second that. So, Councillor Dubs will second the motion to adjourn. We can do a voice vote, correct? All in favor of that? Oh, all in favor, um, just say yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, we're we're adjourned. <laughs>